So I bandied around the idea of doing a Christmas message this year. I made a, started to make a few videos for ultimately either cancelling the video or deleting them because I thought the message was just too hippie and too peace and love. I didn't like it, so I just, just, just kept deleting it and putting it off. But I just saw today that homelessness in the UK is at an all-time high. Now, the charity which did the research, Crisis, estimates that for every one person sleeping rough on the streets, there is another person either sleeping in their car or in a tent. Now, homelessness has consistently risen year on year. Crisis says it's risen every year from 2012 to 2017, and now it's at an all-time high. And the only thing that they say will change this, this trend of continu continued homelessness on the rise is a change in government policy. So what we really need to see in 2019 is a change in government policy, a change in government attitudes towards the homeless. We've already seen a shambles of universal credit with people having to wait six to eight weeks just to get a little bit of money. We've already seen the man who helped design, who helped come up with the idea of universal credit was on LBC this morning and he was saying what is where it's gone wrong is the implementation of his ideas. He said universal credit as, as a whole, the whole scheme is, geared, is being geared towards people who already have money in the bank, already have, already have savings, already have a setup. It's not geared towards poor people who have no money, no, you know, people that are living paycheck to paycheck and they're having to wait six to eight weeks if anything happens, if they lose their job or whatever, they're having to wait six to eight weeks with nothing. So I've already seen that. So what we need to see in 2019 is either a change in government policy, a huge overhaul of universal credit at the very least. And if we don't see that, we need a change in government plain and simple we need a general election preferably after march a general election and a, and a whole new government who is who, who is going to wipe their board is going to start all over again and is going to actually help poor people because the tories do not seem to be doing it they either don't want to or when they have to they're doing it half-heartedly so we need a, we need a complete change a complete change. I don't give a fuck who it is anymore. Labour, preferably. I'll even take Lib Dems, Greens, whatever, as long as they will actually implement and help the poor people of this country, the working people, who for eight years have seen nothing but cuts and austerity and savage, brutal cutbacks. While meanwhile, the corporations and the mega rich are rolling in it. They're seeing their, co their corporation tax reduced to zero in many cases. Cadbury's last year paid nothing in corporation tax. Starbucks, Amazon, Argos, Google, eBay, all these big firms, PayPal, all the, uh, actually, I don't know if PayPal is actually on the list, but all these big firms keep getting away with not paying tax. In some cases, paying zero corporation tax. Meanwhile, me and you, we're, we're seeing our benefits cut, you know, our working tax credits, our uh, DLA, all this money, cut, cut, cut. The government's excuse is they can't afford it. But you can afford to give huge corporation tax breaks to the mega wealthy. You can afford two billion to bribe the DUP to prop up your failing government. But you can't give some money to some poor people. So we need next year, either the government to completely change tack and completely start going the opposite way to the way they're going. Or we need a whole new government. Now this year, Christmas. It's two days away. You won't see me again until after Christmas. You'll see a book review tomorrow. That's all you will see until 27th at the very, very, very earliest. So what I want to say, if you see someone sleeping rough on the streets, sleeping homeless, sleeping in doorways, in cars, in tents, or anything like that, give them a little bit of scrap, a little bit of change out of your pocket. Go into a shop, buy them a sandwich or a hot drink. It's cold out there. Buy them a coffee. If you're worried about, I know a lot of people are worried about uh, homeless people spending money on drugs and booze. For whatever reason, it's either, you're either worried about that because you're prejudiced thinking that 
all homeless people are druggies, or you're just worried that they're going to turn to drinking alcohol, which is a fair argument. I don't care which one it is anymore. I'm not going to stand here and make the argument against the bias. Just help them. Give them some scrap. Give them some money if you can, if you want to. If you don't want to give them money, fair enough. Just go in, get a coffee, get a sandwich or something. And even if you're buying something for yourself, if you're going to Sainsbury's and you're doing your last minute Christmas shopping, a lot of supermarkets, Sainsbury's, Tesco's, Waitrose, all, that, all, all those kind of places, they have a little box by the entrance, in many instances, where you can put things to get sent to your local food bank. It hasn't got to be much. It could be an 89p loaf of bread. Put it in there, then you're helping someone get something for Christmas Day and beyond. A little bit of food, a little bit of help. You're helping someone somewhere. That was really my Christmas message. That was the video that I kept cancelling, kept re-recording, re, re, re cancelling, deleting, re-recording, cancelling, not wanting to do it. But I decided to do it in light of the revelations on rough sleeping and homelessness. Just give a little. You may not do it, you, may, you might not have done it ever in your life, you may not have done it ever in 2018, but make this week, the last week or week and a half of December, last week and week and a half of 2018, make it a week or week and a half of giving. 89p, pound for a, for a cup of coffee, pound for a cup of tea, whatever, whatever it is. Give the homeless man a 50p for a cracker rock, I don't care. Just be a little generous, be a little caring and help. I know some of you may struggle with money, that's fine. You haven't got to give much. You haven't got to give a lot. I Sometimes I struggle with money. Me and my wife, we're not, we're not rich. We're not rolling in it. But if I see a homeless man on the street, God damn it, I'm going to buy him a £2 cup of fucking coffee. Because he needs it a lot more than I do. So, thanks for watching. That's been my Christmas message. Um, I'll see you in the new year, most likely. Enjoy the book review tomorrow. This will be the last video that I'll make fresh for you. Next year, we'll be seeing a lot more of these political rants, a lot more of these um, book reviews coming out. So keep watching. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the new year. Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy New Year. See you next time.